Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Dan over at DC Daily Comics and Entertainment. So, as you can tell by the name of this video, I'm going to be talking about a theory on who is Savitar in the CW's Flash. Well, not so much a theory, more so facts that we haven't had confirmed yet. So, a lot of people are making videos on who is Savitar. Some of which have multiple options because they just aren't following the facts and similarities right in front of their faces. Savitar is Eddie Thawne. More specifically, Savitar is Cobalt Blue, or also known as Malcolm Thawne, from the comics. As we all know, Eddie shot himself in the chest at the end of Season 1, sacrificing himself to save Barry, the rest of Team Flash, and any other potential future victims of Reverse Flash. But did he really die? The answer is no. When Eddie sacrificed himself, he was wearing a talisman around his neck. A talisman that DC Comics fans know has the ability to absorb powers, particularly Speed Force powers. Eddie's body was pulled into the Speed Force Singularity, a place where time works differently, wearing a talisman in which we don't know its true capabilities, but do know from the comics it has the ability to heal people and absorb power. Eddie was pulled into the Speed Force and through the talisman was healed and began absorbing Speed Force energy. The talisman may work differently in the show than the comics and how he survived and was healed may be off a little bit. Now this theory was all but confirmed in episode 16 when Barry spoke to the Speed Force in the form of Eddie. The Eddie Speed Force ghost says to Barry, Eddie Thawne's life was almost so different. Iris was about to be his wife. Joe was about to be his father-in-law. But things didn't turn out that way, did they, Barry? Instead of that life being his legacy, this is. Now, he was holding Eddie's picture on the wall, so most people assume that it meant or was about his death. But how the Speed Force stated this was very vague, and I believe it's referring to Eddie becoming Savitar, and his legacy now being that of a good man, a hero, turned evil. So, some will point out, but how is it that Eobar Thawne was stopped from having existed after the point of Eddie's death? He has to have died. Well, no, not really. Eddie just has to have changed his future and never have had kids, which, him being trapped in the Speed Force and becoming Savitar, would result in the same fate for his future lineage, including Eobard, as his death. Now, my theory so far and the rest can stand alone, but there's also a chance Eobard on Legends of Tomorrow and the Spear of Destiny could play a role. We'll leave that alone for now. So, we know that Savitar is someone who knew or was involved with the Flash. I say this because when Barry created Flashpoint, it is what gave Savitar, who was already in the Speed Force at the time, thanks to future events, the idea to use Wally as Kid Flash to get free. This means the timeline and future Savitar is from was one where Flashpoint never happened. So that rules out a few people from being Savitar, mainly ruling out Julian. It also rules out Wally West because in the future Savitar is from, there is no Kid Flash. So now, on to why Savitar is Eddie, outside of the fact that Cobalt Blue's suit resembles Savitar's, and that Cobalt Blue uses a sword and Savitar technically has two swords that are a part of his suit. Not to mention the Philosopher's Stone could easily be mistaken for Cobalt Blue's blue flame. Let's look at some more concrete evidence that I'm going to base off a little speculation. During either Eddie's time in the Speed Force after his supposed death or his time in Barry's Speed Force prison, I'm going to speculate that Eddie discovers the truth, that he is actually the brother of Barry Allen, separated at birth. Whether that is his single most painful memory he, has for, he was forced to watch over and over again, or if he was able to see all the events of his life after being stuck in the Speed Force Singularity the first time, 
which is more likely considering he hated Barry even before Barry imprisoned him in the Speed Force, the Speed Force which we don't know how it works or much about at all. So, as we know, Savitar views Barry as cruel and selfish, not only because of his selfish decision at the end of Season 1 that led to Eddie killing himself, but also because almost all the bad throughout the Flash TV show is due to selfish decisions Barry made that has negatively affected everyone else. Savitar has mentioned more than once that Barry and his team has taken everything from him. Now, emphasis on everything. Then when Barry and Savitar fought in episode 15, Savitar says, The boy Joe raised, the man Iris loves. You have everything. Everything. Sounds familiar. Barry and deserve none of it. Wait a second. Why would Savitar care that Joe raised Barry and that he's the man Iris loves? And why would Savitar consider that everything? Could that be part of the everything Barry took from him? Well, yes. Yes, it is. You see, in the comics, Cobalt Blue is seen as a failure by his family. Just as Eddie is seen as a failure to the Thawne family because in both situations, Eddie isn't truly a Thawne. Do you think it's a coincidence the only mention of Eddie's parents in the show is of something that added to the torment of Eddie as a child? Eddie had a rough childhood. He was obese and subjected to bullying, and his father, a successful businessman, only added to that torment and bullying by closing a local factory he owned. The only family member who seemed to care about Eddie is Grandma Agnes due to him having her ring to propose with, which makes sense seeing his grandmother is the only one who cared for Cobalt Blue in the comics. She is the one who taught him how to use the blue flame and to imbue his talisman with his hate for Barry to do things like steal powers. So not only does Eddie feel it's Barry's fault he didn't marry Iris, and had to sacrifice himself, he feels like Barry stole his life from him, that he deserved to be the one Joe raised, to become a hero, and to have Iris' love. When Barry asks, why are we enemies? Savitar says, because we had to be. Only one of us could live. You thought that Thawn and Zoom were your biggest foes? But it's me. It's always been me, Barry. He is saying this because he now knows the truth. They were born to be enemies. No matter what, one would be raised a thorn, destined to be forgotten and live a lackluster life, the other to be an Allen and to become a hero, an inspiration. Now some will say, okay, makes sense, but why would Eddie kill Iris? Well, like Savitar says to Iris, I'm sorry that you have to die, but it's you or me. Eddie knows that if he kills Iris in front of Barry, it will destroy him. This is why he tells Barry, you will never get over this. Iris, as Barry has stated in the past, is his inspiration as the Flash. Without her, there is no Flash. So if he watches her die and is unable to save her, it will break him and Savitar will have won. Barry will have nothing left to fight for and Savitar will finally defeat him. If Iris doesn't die, Barry will never stop fighting and pushing himself to be better. And in turn, he will defeat Savitar. Now, a lot of people might say, but Eddie wasn't sucked into the Speed Force at the end of Season 1. It was just a black hole. Well, that is also incorrect. As explained by Evil Wells or Reverse Flash, Barry needed to run fast enough to open a breach to the Speed Force. Once open, they set it up to keep it open, unlike all the other times Barry has traveled through time via the Speed Force. Doing this is dangerous, as explained by Wells. If the breach isn't closed within, I think it was two minutes, it would become a singularity, or black hole, which it did. It became a Speed Force singularity. 
If Barry didn't close it with the help of Firestorm, the Earth, all versions of it, would have been sucked into the Speed Force, not just another space in space, similar to the new 52 Flash arc regarding Turbine. Now the next thing some will argue is, how could it be Eddie? Savitar says Barry will be there to witness his creation soon, but Eddie was sucked into the Speed Force in the past. Eddie wasn't imprisoned in the Speed Force like Savitar, he just got sucked in, etc, etc. Well, we just haven't seen the whole story yet. In a recent interview with all the CW show writers and cast, they said that episode 19 is titled The Once and Future Flash, or something along those lines. That the Flash realizes the only way he is going to get the answers he needs is to travel to the future. No, not the clip where Iris dies again, but to the future with a future version of himself. We also know Savitar will be revealed, at least to us the fans, by episode 18. So what I see happening is Barry traveling to the future, and this is where he will witness the creation of Savitar in the form of Eddie being freed of the Speed Force, either on his own somehow or very possible with ha possibly will have something to do with the season finale of Legends of Tomorrow. Eobard Thawne and the Spear of Destiny. Honestly, they could make it work either way very well. I'd like to see them tie in Legends of Tomorrow in a way where Eobard thinks he's bringing Eddie back from the dead, but really just frees him from the Speed Force. But that could complicate things and it may be easier to play out or do without. <clears throat> now once Eddie gets back, the story will play out. Eddie will cause all types of havoc and that's when Barry will have to imprison him in the Speed Force. I'm not going to speculate on exactly how that story goes, but that's the gist of it. We know he'll try to destroy the city at the very least, though. Another thing in the same interview, the showrunners, I think it was Greg Berlanti, says, We're very excited about the Savitar reveal. It's actually something we've been setting up for a really long time. So that confirms Savitar will be someone we know, and that they've been dropping very small clues for a long time, in my opinion since season 1. With things like Eddie's necklace, or talisman, the small hints of his shitty childhood, the fact that he's considered a failure of a thorn, his grandmother's name drop, it all makes sense and ties in. It also all is very similar, similar to Malcolm Thorn, Cobalt Blue, of the comics. As from the comics, as we know, the Flash show loves taking bits and pieces from the comics and mixing them in, and this is just another case of that, with Savitar, Cobalt Blue, and even a bit of Godspeed or August from the Rebirth series. I'm sure a lot of people might not agree with me, but it's really the only thing that makes sense and reflects the comics. As I've said, it can't be Julian or Wally. It's not the future Flash or Barry as much as people want it to be. Those who think that are really pulling at straws based off of wording the show writers have used. Savitar is clearly saying he is the future, comma, Flash. I mean, I really can't think of one other logical answer with as much evidence as Eddie Thawne. It sure as hell isn't Jay. Do you guys remember how much fan backlash the show and writers got when we thought Jay was Zoom? They just aren't dumb enough to run with that. Just look at the pictures in this video. Cobalt Blue is the closest in appearance to Savitar as any Flash character there ever was. Clearly, the show isn't going to give Savitar a sword exactly like Cobalt Blue's or call the Philosopher's Stone the Blue Flame. It'd be a dead giveaway, so instead, they built two blades or short swords into his suit. So, let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions about Eddie being Savitar, or why you don't think he is, put them in the comments, and I'll answer, and explain the best I can for you. I tried to cover everything in the video, but I'm sure I missed a point or two. The next video I'm going to put up most likely later today is actually going to be about Arrow and why I think Prometheus is working with or has worked with Helix. So if you enjoyed the video, please just hit that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel as we're going to be putting out at least one video a day. Also, 
give me some ideas. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to watch. I mean, I'm actually just finishing up Marvel's Iron Fist, and I'll have something up probably tomorrow or the next day, which I have to say, fuck the critics. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. I mean, I, I was reading all these reviews. I'm like, well, this is going to suck, blah, blah, blah. I watched it. I couldn't stop watching it. I watched the entire season pretty much in less than a day. All right. Well, everybody have a good day, and I'll see you next time. This is Dan from DC Daily Comics and Entertainment signing out.